Thanks for stopping by Lifestyle with Melanie Graves, where I share stylish and creative ideas to help you do what makes you happy in your home. Today, I'm sharing my ultimate guide to celebrations in partnership with Balsam Hill. We're gonna talk all things, my favorite entertaining pieces, some food and beverage ideas, as well as some gift ideas coming up. So to get things started, let's talk a little bit about your entertaining space. The first thing you'll want to consider when planning your holiday celebrations is where you'll want to entertain. It's been said that the kitchen is the heart of the home, and this year I will be hosting our celebrations in our kitchen. In the main prep space, I like to keep it simple and festive. Consider corralling your decor on a tray that's easy to move and doesn't take up too much real estate in your food prep space. To style your space, consider adding a centerpiece or a festive tablescape. To decorate this space, I'll start by adding a shimmery eucalyptus garland, and I'm going to shape it so that the branches are evenly distributed on both sides of the base. Next, I'm gonna add in some variation by layering on top of the garland with this pre-lit metallic ornament garland. So now I have some festive holiday colors with the silver and gold and a festive light display. It'll serve as a perfect base to build around, adding lots of interest to the island without taking up too much space. Next, I like to add in a little varying height. And so I'm adding these gold glitter tabletop trees. I love using these trees in several different areas in our home because they've got this super fine glittery finish that makes for a beautiful display, especially when located directly under a light fixture. And to finish things off, consider adding in candlelight. I'm adding in these glass taper holders and votives. I love to use glass in my holiday decor because of its elegance and timelessness. For an extra touch of subtle detail, I added glittering gold votive candles. Now that you have your space all set up, you're going to need some entertaining essentials. Let me show you a few of my favorites from this year. My favorite holiday memories growing up was admiring my mom's elegant serveware. Whether she was serving up her favorite cocktail, an easy appetizer, or a main dish, she always pulled out the most captivating pieces during the holiday season. And I'm definitely inspired to do the same when hosting my own holiday celebrations. So come on in, let's get this party started. One of my favorite things to do is to greet my guests at the front door with a special holiday cocktail. This year I'm serving up bubbles and these stipple and striped stemless flutes. And then once they come into the kitchen area, they'll be greeted by this delightful three-tiered stand with all of my favorite sugary treats. It's not a party without some delicious food and drinks, right? Today I'm making a yummy beverage for you and I'm showing you how I put together my holiday inspired charcuterie board. While we usually hear the term charcuterie board, you don't have to use a wooden board for a delectable charcuterie display. You can get really creative with your charcuterie boards using platters, trays, planks, or even bowls. And best of all, there is no food styling background required to create a fun and festive presentation. This year, I've created a wreath themed board. The recipe for this board is really simple. I started with the wreath base of arugula for the greenery. And next you'll create your wreath topper. You could do something like a bow or a star. I experimented with both, just using some slices of cheese and some sugar frosted cranberries. And the magic really happens with these boards when you add in a few of your favorite things. For us, that includes candied bacon, glazed nuts, and chocolate covered pretzels. make ourselves a nice cocktail, of course, and a fancy drink dispenser, right? This year I'm using this Tannenbaum glass dispenser to serve white sangria. 
This recipe is really easy and really delicious. You'll want to grab a couple of oranges, a couple of pears, and a couple of apples, dice them up, and add them all in. I'm also adding some fresh cranberries. They won't add any flavor, but they are gorgeous in the container. And grab a couple of cinnamon sticks if you can find them. If not, you can use ground cinnamon as well. Next, you'll add one bottle of dry white wine. I'm using Sauvignon Blanc about three cups of apple cider, one cup of ginger ale, and one cup of pear vodka. And then finally, you'll wanna let that sangria chill for at least an hour before your guests arrive, and then you can serve it over ice in a wine glass. And finally, here's a few gift ideas, maybe for your favorite teacher, college student, hostess, or neighbor. Starting off with some smaller gift ideas, you can never go wrong with a gorgeous decorative candle. And this year, the metallic Nouveau candles are definitely on trend. Not only are they beautiful, but they can fit into pretty much any decor style. And this glass cloche scented candle would make a great hostess gift. It presents so nicely in my kitchen and it smells wonderful. Another fun gift idea are these evergreen grove brush trees. They come in a set of nine. What a great way to add some charm and sparkle to your seasonal decorations. I used them on my mantle this year and they were quite the hit. These cable knit stockings also make a great gift for maybe a newlywed couple or someone in a new home. And I love this gift for my daughter. It's a decorated tree kit. It'll be perfect for her first year in college. It comes fully packed with all the trimmings, the tree, and the stand. If you'd like to see how it looks all set up, make sure you come back for my Christmas home tour later on in this series. Shop all of these entertaining essentials and gift ideas through the links in the description box below. As always, I hope you were inspired in some way today and that you got at least one new idea for entertaining your friends and family this holiday season. Until next time, love and peace.